How's it going team? Eddie Gray here. Welcome to the channel that Logic Pro guy. I know that we usually talk about all things Logic Pro, but today is different. When a company like Antares reaches out to you and ask for a feature on your channel, of course, you know I'm going to hook them up. Before we get started, make sure that you like this video, make sure that you subscribe. I'm getting this channel off the ground, so I would appreciate that. Many thanks. Let's talk about Auto-Tune Vocal Compressor. This plug claims to be able to just take the input of a signal and to set ideal compression levels with four different styles of compression. You can use an FET compressor, Opto A, Opto B, and then a modern compressor. And there's a lot of bells and whistles here, so let's just get right into it. So if you're going to use this with its machine learning algorithm, you're going to want to set the input type up. If you don't know which one it is, I guess just give it a good guess. And then you're going to want to set the compression style. Are we going to hit something in a minimal fashion, controlled, or aggressive? Let me go with controlled. And then the style, clean vocals, warm and full, gritty energy. I think I'm going to go with warm and full. Uh, we're working on a chorus here. If the input signal isn't hot enough, if, if you're not actually hitting the threshold, you're not going to you're not going to get any kind of effect so just make sure that whatever you're working on uh, is properly gain staged all right here we go learn and play the algorithm has suggested two compressors so we're going to utilize serial compression first compressor is an FET it set the input level set the output level and it's actually using the warm feature which gives you a little bit of tube saturation i dig it second compressor on the other hand is an opto compressor right shows the peak reduction level and then where the gain is we're going to say yeah we dig it apply and let me bypass let's uh, let's hear the before and after If you're listening with good speakers, if you're listening with great headphones, wow, what a marked difference. You can really hear the gluing effect that compression is, uh, is known for. Um, let's go to the top left. This is something that I found to be really interesting right here where it says setup. You can either set this up with, you know, one compressor and it says enable single mode to apply a single layer of compression. Then it says something to the effect of this mode is best for problem solving with a modern compressor. So that's interesting. And then you can use this in dual mode. And I think this is really where it shines. It's going to save you a couple of steps. Everyone who is a deep producer knows that on a lot of vocals, you utilize two compressors, perhaps one to catch the peaks and then the other to get a full bodied sound. Well, you no longer have to do that. You have everything all in one shot here. I love the wet dry knob here. So maybe if it's if it's going a little too hard for you, you can back off. Let's try that out. You my heart for somebody that doesn't understand compression on a deep level, this is an absolute miracle on so many different levels. I mean, of course, you should learn what compression is. You should learn how to utilize it. And uh, this is just something that can get you there a little bit quicker as you're learning all the various facets of music production. So this sounds beautiful. Uh, I love how gentle it sounds. And I don't know, this time we'll change the algorithm. We'll say we want aggressive compression just for kicks, and then we'll do clean vocals. All right, so I'm gonna hit learn. Let's try this one more time. And I love the fact that you could just audition a bunch of compressors really quickly. Let's just go ahead and swap these really quick. Different co 
colors there. Like I can hear this working on backup vocals. I can hear this working on uh, harmonies. Let's check out the bottom portion here. You see where it says sidechain? So one of the things about this compressor, which is definitely the most fascinating, if we hover over the auto-tune pitch filter, the language is gonna say something to the effect of the plugin is compressing the fundamental tone. So a compressor usually doesn't know where a note is going. It doesn't understand the frequency range and it's not compressing kind of according to what is most resonant at any given time. With this plugin on the other hand though, it's thinking about the material and it's going to compress similar to a multiband compressor but doing it in an intelligent manner. So you gotta love that. I love just the whole concept of this just doing something extra that I don't have to do. I don't know about you guys, but I am on a deadline constantly. I work with various publishers in the game and you constantly have to be on your toes. In fact, one of my albums is actually being released this week. To me, this is the real threat though. Combining this in tandem with auto-tune vocal EQ, man, you can become unstoppable because you just can get the right sound the right way fast. But watch this, let's bring in the backup vocals. And so I'm gonna go ahead and instantiate auto-tune vocal compressor here, the compressor of the future, and let's see what could happen. It is resizable, facts, and then something else to keep in mind, if you like you know, a different look, you can go ahead and set yourself up, but uh, I'm gonna keep it dark like that. Let me go ahead and set this up for, let's do controlled compression, and I wanna do warm and full. Let's just hear what the backups are doing really quick. You melt my heart from frozen. Probably not a bad idea to kind of push these backups really hard. So in that case, you could change the algorithm. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to utilize the warm feature here. And I'm just going to push this to the limit so we can just get a little bit more grit here. Let's go. You melt my heart from frozen. Now the love inside me is growing. With every so that right there is that analog cream. It's nice. It sits well. It does the job necessary to cut right through that mix. Let's listen to all this in context. So I'll bypass vocal compressor we're listening to the backups here here we go just really quick if we if we look at what the compressor is doing objectively it's using an FET it's using the warm configuration here and the ratios four. it's not trying to you know solve world hunger or whatever it's just basically touching it and then when you get to the next compressor this is when it's starting to color it's using an opto compressors and if you've studied those you know that they actually will affect the frequency range of a signal so this is amazing intelligent decisions using serial compression if you didn't want to go over the top you could switch it up to just an individual compressor, but I do like what's happening here. Let's look at the data. So if I bypass the backups, if I bypass the original, we get this. See, and this is the problem with production is that there's so many different parts to it. And when you're brand new, it's hard to get it all together, right? And you're thinking about 150,000 things. I just love the fact that we have these tools. It really makes me grateful to be producing in a time such as this. So super grateful on Taurus, you did it again with auto-tuned vocal compressor. The game has changed. Here we go. You melt my heart from
fans, tell me what you think. Do you agree? Auto-tuned vocal compressor, is it here to stay? I know for me, this is going to be a mainstay in my arsenal. This is something that I'm going to utilize for sure. I do hope you like this video. Make sure that you show Auto-Tune some love. I have a bunch of links in the description if you want to support this channel. And I just wanted to thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Antares, I appreciate you. I see you guys. Amazing work. Great stuff. All right, we'll see you guys later. You